Hey y'all, welcome to my running channel. My name is Yan. In this video, I want to show you all the things I'm bringing for a race that I have tomorrow, which is the 30 hour Sand Hill Run Ultra Run in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to bring for my nutrition and also all the things I'm bringing for my running gears or things that I really need just for the race. Now the race is a 5.5, 5.6 loop course and it's, you can do as many as you can within that 30 hour and there's pros and cons to it. Uh, the pro is that the A station is, is right there and you always go to the same place. So you just, all you need is all your stuff at that A station and every five miles you're going to get there and you know exactly what you have there. In a point to point or a lot longer, um, sometimes you have to pack different uh, drop boxes or drop bags and then you have to have different things at different location and you might not have everything that you have there but the pros of that is that you know you're not seeing the exact same scenery for the entire race this one even though the A station is where you're gonna have it and you're gonna pass it every 5.5 miles it's gonna get boring sometimes and run the exact same loop uh, all the time now I did do a 5 mile loop 100 before and the scenery didn't really bother me, um, but it would be better if you see different sceneries throughout the race instead of the same thing over and over. There won't be an A station in this race for everybody to use, so you have to have your own A station. I would have to bring all of my water, which I have here, and I'm bringing five gallons of water, which hopefully I think it is enough. And the A station is going to be, if you camp there, it's going to be where your camp's at. If you don't have a camp, and you park in the parking lot, that's where your A station is gonna be. You know, every single lap that you run, you, we're gonna have a chip on the ankle and it's gonna just count and then when you pass the lap and then you just either go to your A station, either afterwards or even before you pass that, because it doesn't really matter, right? It's the total time and the total distance. I got everything ready that I can think of. I'm pretty sure I forgot a few things here and there, but I probably brought a lot more than I really need. But it's better to have, in my opinion, um, since it's a loop course, to have more than what I need because I'd rather have more than what I need than missing some crucial stuff that I really need in the race. So before I start packing all of my stuff into the car, I want to show you what I'm bringing. Okay, so I'm going to start with the nutrition. I use Hammer Nutrition as my main nutrient supplement for my ultra races. So here I have all the gels. Uh, I'm not going to use all of these, but when I want to switch flavors or switch textures and I use some. Um, I got Cliff bars here, got some Goku Squeeze, just to have different textures like I said. And here is um, Enduralikes Extreme. I'm not sure I need the Extreme, but I probably take like maybe once every hour or an hour and a half if I feel like something's prepping up. Because remember, the last race, I didn't have any electrolytes like my Fizz, they were all out. So here I got some Fizz to fill up water uh, to take during the race and that way I have a good supply of electrolytes com coming into me. My main nutrition is going to be Perpetuum because it has a little bit of protein for recovery and, uh, and it has a lot of calories as well. And for different flavors or, or textures, um, I'm going to use this Perpetuum Solid which will give it a different texture because this is just mixed in the water and you can drink it and this is you kind of chew and you need water to get it down and this is Cafe Latte, this is Orange Vanilla. Also another uh, nutrients from here I can use is the Heed and this is the Mandarin Orange. This has a little calories and it has a little bit of sodium as well so if I want to switch up then I can in the race but these two it's going to be my main uh, calories and energy for the race. I also have like a CVS Pedialyte brand for electrolytes just in case if I couldn't mix it or I'm too tired then I can just take a sip of that. And I also brought uh, organic protein powder. Uh, this is from Costco. Just uh, if I want some protein in myself then I can just get this and then put it in and shake it up uh, during the race. Um, so I have these, I'm not sure I'm going to use all these or not, but I'm pretty sure I will use this after the race at least. At least get like at least 20 grams in me the hour after my race. 
So all of my gels here, all of my hammer nutrition stuff that I got in Greenville, South Carolina, and I got it at Run In. And here's the bag that they have with the print. Dane is the one I work with. They're really, really good. Knows a lot about, you know, nutrition and shoes. Um, what you need for ultra races or marathon races. If you want to check them out, go on there, ask for Dane or Travis. Um, they help me out a lot. Very, very knowledgeable about their stuff. Now, I'm also going to bring other foods such as chips and some fruits. I don't have it here with me. I'm going to run to a store on my way down to Columbia and get some, and get some ice also to put into the cooler. That way, it's going to keep it cooler for the race and it's not going to spoil. Probably get some bananas, uh, maybe avocado. Just different fruits that I normally eat, like blueberries as well. Now for the other things that I actually use or bring in the race is sunblock. Um, a lot of anti-chafing like uh, squirrel butter, which is uh, squirrel saddle butter. Um, that, this, chafing ointment. I got two of these. I used one already, have one left, just a little bit left. So I want to use it all before I start using um, some of the other things. But I brought them all just in case I need them. And I also brought this Human Performance Pure Lotion. I tried it before for a road marathon, have not tried it for ultra marathon, so I don't know how it's gonna work. I think it helps with like anti-soreness and uh, let me see, against fatigue and soreness. So I'm gonna see how that works because I'm gonna be sore and it's gonna be fatiguing after like 15 hours or so. And on to the clothes. I brought a long sleeve white shirt because I don't know if there's a lot of sun or not, but if it is, this would help with the sunblock that I have. Brought this yoga mat, pretty thick, just in case if I sleep in the car. Brought my trekking pole that I might need to use. Now I use the trekking pole for the last, I think three 100 miler and um, I actually need to use it. So it doesn't matter for me if it's like has a lot of elevation or not. I'm gonna use it. So, and this one is Alpine Summit. I think the Lecky is the uh, Lecky brand. It's probably the brand that most people use, but I don't use it a lot. So, um, I just use what I have. I'm gonna bring three pairs of shoes. It's calling for rain tomorrow and thunder. So, just like last time, I switch off depending on the grip of uh, the you know the surface. I'm not sure what it's like, but this shoes is a little tighter on me, but has more grip. This one is a little bit loose, um, and I got a Solomon that is, I think, uh, maybe a size bigger for towards the end of the race when my foot is swollen, and these will feel really, really tight, and I think that would probably help, but I'm not sure how it's gonna feel because I haven't wore it yet. And these are gonna be some of my electronics and gears that I use in the race. This is my hydration vest with the Solomon bottles. Not sure I'm gonna use it all the time, but I will have it for refill. Mosquito spray. I got this uh, semi -res water resistance jacket just in case I need to wear. The buff uh, visor. And if I don't want to bring the vest, then I can just bring a water bottle because it is a lap. This should give me enough water for like an hour or an hour and a half with a gel or whatever I need to bring in here. Now for the night runs, I brought two lamps. One is the Petso, I, guess, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is the Swift RL. Um, haven't used this in a race before. I actually just got it. Got a good recommendation from Kindle. And I got this and I brought my old one also, um, really just for a backup, just in case this ran out of battery or something, then I'll use this one. But uh, I think I just use this one. This has the reactive and uh, you can actually turn it on and if this reactive, then it can get brighter if there are lesser light. All right, now that's off. Now I got all of my chargers here because I know that my GPS watch, the battery's gonna go out after about 15 hours or so and I'm gonna need to recharge it. And I brought a USB external battery charger here so I can charge my camera if it runs out of battery, my phone if it runs out of battery, and my GPS, which is probably, probably the most uh, important thing. I brought baby wipes to clean myself when I get messy, because I always get messy in the ultra race. I brought a bladder with me. Uh, this REI bottle, I'm using it to shake my protein, so that's what I bring it for. This is a arm sleeve that I can put it, uh, my phone or something on here if I need to use it. I, 
normally don't use it in an ultra race, but bring it just in case. Got my GPS watch here, which is the 920 XT. Got the heart rate monitor, replaced new battery. It ran out. Um, I use it just to make sure I don't go too fast. If my heart rate is like 140 or something, then uh, I'm going way too fast, even for jogging. If it should be around like 120 or, or always below 130 is my goal. So I would think it'd be like around 120 or so because I'd be walking a lot and jogging. All right, and for clothing, uh, I brought a lot of singlets just to change if I need to. A lot of socks. If uh, my socks is really wet, then I can change. But my primary socks is gonna be the Njinji, uh, like the finger socks. And I got two pairs of them. I use them and I never got any kind of blisters in the race, knock on wood. But it, they work really well for me. So I just brought two pair. I actually lost the last pair or forgot the last pair that I used in Boulder when I rented the car. I took the socks off, I put it in there because it was black. It blended in with the floor and I didn't see it so I had to get new ones. Um, for the bottom, I have the La Sportiva. Um, this is one of the shorts that I wore last time for all of my ultra races. Didn't have a lot of chafing, which is really, really good, but I do certain areas I need to put lotion or anti-chafing cream um, because it, it did chafe in certain areas and it really, really hurt afterwards. And I brought longer pants just in case I need it. I don't think I'll need them, but like I said, just in case I need them. And some shorts to replace, but I doubt I would need them as well. Uh, I brought this jacket. I doubt I'm going to use it because it's going to be raining and very humid in Colombia. But a lot of times when it rains and you don't feel well, you get the chills and that's not a good feeling. So I brought it just in case if I get the chills or something, then I'll wear it. Uh, I brought my massage gun. Probably used uh, during the race or especially after the race. Just massage my muscles, just get it loosened up. Extra clothes just to wear in. My rice paddy. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna bring that or not. I was thinking it's gonna help me uh, to block the shade, but it's gonna take too much space. That is all the things that I'm gonna bring, the nutrition and running gears. I hope that was helpful for you. Maybe they give you some ideas of what things that you might be missing or not. Maybe you're, you know exactly what to bring, but if you haven't and you're new, this should give you a good idea of nutrition and also gears for night race um, during the day. Because if you're doing like a 24 hour race or a 30 hour race or a 100 mile, chances are you're gonna go through the night and some of these gears will help you totally. Well, I hope you're running and training's going well. Wish me luck for tomorrow, and thanks for watching.